Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick go at this integral here. So the natural logarithm of x to the power of the natural log of x minus 6 plus 5 multiply everything by x cubed. Integrating all of that with respect to x from 1 to e squared. Okay, let's dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to use an application of our log laws. So we see that since in the argument of this natural log function here, we have x to the power. Well, what we know is that we can bring that whole power out the front of that natural logarithm. So what that means for us now is we can rewrite this problem as, again, just the integral 1 to e squared. And we'll say big brackets here and then little brackets now. Natural log of x minus 6 close those brackets off as that'll be multiplying by the natural log of x and we'll say plus 5 close those larger brackets off x cubed dx okay so nothing too crazy just using our log laws to bring that down out the front and obviously I should mention as well that we are assuming that x is greater than 0 okay so what's next well I think what we need to do is probably just quickly expand this a little bit so let's see what we get this will now become, again, integral 1 to e squared. And what we'll do is we'll say natural log squared of x minus 6 times the natural log of x then plus 5. And again, we've got x cubed on the end there. Okay, so one more time, just quickly expanding it. And you'll see it's just a little bit of grunt work so far. Nothing too crazy. And we'll end up with integral of x cubed ln squared x minus 6 x cubed ln of x plus 5 x cubed dx. Okay, so now what we've done is we've managed to work it down into much more approachable terms. Uh, it's still looking a little bit nasty to work with, but we know that when we see it in this form, we can solve this problem. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at this first section here, and we're going to break this up into three separate integrals now. So we can rewrite this as integral 1 to e squared as x cubed natural log squared of x, and then we'll say minus 6 times the integral of x cubed natural log of x, then plus 5 times the integral of x cubed, and then dx on all of these terms as well, of course and also not forgetting our limits of integration here. I wouldn't worry too much if you didn't write your limits of integration at each individual step, as long as you do keep that in mind. But just for the sake of the video, I'll try and keep it there throughout. Uh, okay, so next thing we need to do is just actually just start integrating. So integration by parts. Well, the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so using our Lyet principle, so we know that u must be equal to that logarithmic function there. So we can say that, well, this whole integral here is going to be equal to, well, the logarithmic is the natural log squared of x. v is simply going to be the integral of x cubed. So that's going to be x to the 4 on 4 minus the integral, again, from 1 to e squared. And I should also note that we need to be evaluating this, again, from 1 to e squared. So integral now, so v du, well, that will bring this whole section to simply be x to the 4 on 4 times by natural log of x, and there'll be a factor of 2 at the front of that, over x. So that's our v, and that's our du. So differentiating the natural log squared of x gets you 2 ln of x on x. Okay, and let's not forget dx there on the end as well. Okay, so... 2 over 4, well, we can simply rewrite that as just a half out the front there. Okay, so now let's rewrite our whole problem and see what this will get us. So again, natural log squared of x, x to the 4, all on 4, and we're evaluating that from 1 to e squared. Now we are subtracting 1 half times the integral 1 to e squared, and we see x to the 4 over x, so I can just rewrite that as x cubed times the natural log of x dx. And now let's see, what else did we have from our problem up above? Well, we had minus 6 times the integral from 1 to e squared of x cubed natural log of x dx. So that is, in fact, the exact same integrand uh, as we have right here. So we know that we can actually rewrite those together. So if I say 1 half, or minus 1 half rather, minus 6, I know that what I'll be able to do is just simply change this 
to now be a minus 13 onto out the front of this integral here. Okay, so just bringing that minus six down into here as well, since they both have the exact same integrand. And so lastly, of course, we also have our plus the integral of, well, it was simply five x cubed dx. Okay, so it's getting there. It's looking much more approachable. The only problem is now that we need to do another integration by parts. And so let's work that one out now. So what will this become? Let's have a quick look. So we'll have, again, integration by parts formula. So integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So u, again, will be our natural logarithm. So we can say that this whole thing is going to be equal to the natural log, so ln of x. Now dv will become v, so we integrate the x cubed. Again, that will become x to the 4, and now all over 4. And again, evaluating this from 1 to e squared. Okay, and now subtracting the integral of v du. So v, we said, was x to the 4 on 4, and now du, derivative of the natural log, is simply 1 over x. And then dx on the end there as well. And again, 1 to e squared. Okay, so neatening this up a little bit. Again, we can cross out some of those x's, so that'll become x cubed. And now we have just a 1 on 4 out the front there. dx. Okay, so we are definitely getting there. So now let's rewrite our entire problem with all these different sections that we need to evaluate. So we'll have natural log squared of x times by x to the 4 all over 4. And we are evaluating that from 1 to e squared. Okay, so next we had minus 13 on 2. Now I'll put in big brackets over here. We'll then include, instead of writing x cubed natural log of x dx, we'll then just put in exactly what we found this to be equal to. So this whole section down here. So we'll then have that natural log of x times x to the 4 over 4 evaluated from 1 to e squared. And really quick, I think we can quickly integrate this. So that'll just simply become x to the 4 over 4. Or simply we can then write this out as minus 1 on 16, since we'll bring that 4 out the front, times by x to the 4 evaluated from 1 to e squared yet again. Now we can close that bracket off. And then lastly, we'll have that plus 5 times the integral of x cubed. So again, we can integrate that and bring that factor of a 1 quarter out the front. So that'll just now become 1 on 4 times by x to the 4 evaluated from 1 to e squared. And there we are. So once we've gotten it to this stage here, all we actually need to do now is just quickly plug in those upper and lower limits. So you'll substitute in the upper limit, then evaluate what that whole term will become. Then you will subtract the lower limit when that's substituted into the x. So it is a lot of work, honestly, just to go through that, but it's pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, so I'll just give the answer here. So the final answer is now just minus one on 32. And then in brackets, we've got 19e to the power of 8 plus 53. And that is our final answer for today. So this problem is a little bit tricky, mainly because of the integration by parts and also all of this evaluation that does need to get done. So I would highly recommend using a calculator just to quickly double check everything uh, if you are uncertain with what the natural logs will become. Uh, everything else, I think, should be pretty straightforward, and I think you can do the rest in your head. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. If you have any other recommendations or methods that you would have attacked this problem with, then please let me know down below. As always, I hope you have a great day, and stay curious.